Yeah. Waste of time. It works. <laughs> okay. So a while back, remember yeah. I introduced you to Quobo? It oh, was yeah, the yeah. robot. It looks the like a pillow, oh, and it's yes. got like a tail on it. Yeah, right, yeah. like the um, back end of a yeah. cat. And we took it out uh, and, and you know yes. tested it out on some yes. folks and right. stuff like that. Now the idea is this: some people cannot have pets. Right. They want a pet, and this thing kind of reacts to you, yeah. stuff like yeah. that. It, it vibrates, it purrs. It's 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 pretty crazy. And at first, uh, there was a lot of people that were like, "Cody, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen." And yeah. then you try yeah. it, and then you're like, "Ah, it's kind of good." Okay. Well, the company that made this. Uh, has come up with a new thing, and they sent me a press release. Oh, oh. and I believe we should check it out. Okay, it's called the Boko. The Boko. The Boko. The Boko. 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 Okay. Here he is. It's an adorable little robot. Look at that little guy. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, so like the Kobo, uh, it can have a relationship with you. Okay. So you can talk to it. It can talk to you. Okay. But it can do a lot of different stuff. So the idea is that this little guy could. Um, Help you control your smart home and remotely care for your family members oh. via the robot. So you can really? talk through it. Uh, it is so cute. Would you say, like a little more personality than, say, Alexa? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, think of it as Alexa. Uh -huh. Dead or alive, you are coming okay. with me. You can actually use it like thousands of miles away if somebody had one to talk through it to your friend oh. or your family member and stuff like that. Wow. Interesting. Uh, so, uh, used by both. Uh, what, they, no, No price yet. Okay. No price yet. Um, uh, it lights up his eyes, it shakes its antenna, and makes cute little sounds in response to emotional words such as happy, tired, uh, plus emojis and outgoing incoming text messages when called by its nickname the user has given to the robot. So unlike Alexa, you can actually call it something. Oh. Uh, used by both individual customers and security and utility. Remember, this has been translated to yeah. Japanese. Oh, so I see. It's got an easy <laughs> three-button system. You can record, play, and there's a volume. Um, yeah. Pretty cute, huh? That it is kind of cute. So, does it make facial? Because I see those little hearts right. over the eyes. Like, does it uh, change emotions? I basically? think it says it. Oh, I It responds see. Uh, to respond. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It responds to it. Uh, should be out later on this year, they say. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like we should test it out. I think we oh, should. The Boko. <laughs> <laughs> you said it um, is in Japanese or in English? Japanese. Well, no. I mean, it will do whatever you want. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the, the release they sent me was in Japanese um, because I've made friends with Hiroto. Of course you have. Crazy. <laughs> um, but how cute is that? Look at his little head moving. It is. I think it's cute. You want one code? I do want one. Okay. Yeah. Put on the list, everybody. Mm -hmm. It does look like a right? little chicken. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll tweet it out if you want to learn more about Boko, the cousin of Kubo. <laughs> Everybody's got a cousin. <laughs> It's the item that uh, helps the world of fashion. Why today we shed a special light on the invention of the zipper. It's a very important thing. <laughs>